Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge 2.0, Day 9. Marty Miller from Summit Property Group in Houston, Texas, coming back to you with a uh, kind of a the third day in a series that we've been spending on Sketch House Designs and the WeBrand Editor. So again, as always, we can get into Sketch House by clicking on this panel here. We're going to start a new design. We're still on social media. We're going to create a template. And then we're just going to look at Twitter. So very similar to kind of what we were doing yesterday and the day before. Instead of Facebook or LinkedIn, Instagram, we're going to choose Twitter. So you can go through and kind of look at what's available in each one of these and see what the templates are and then decide which one you kind of want to go with or um, utilize. So let's just say we did just sold Twitter and we want to use this template. Again, it'll open up the template and give us some opportunities to start doing some editing. Uh, one thing we haven't talked about yet are some of these on this far left hand uh, column here in the menu. If you choose text and then banners, I thought this was kind of cool. Um, it's kind of Canva-esque. So if you wanted to change how this looked, sold, and maybe you wanted to do you know, something like that, you could bring in these different styles, delete this one out, and put you know and just kind of play with each one of these to see what really looks good i am not a graphics uh, person by any means um, and yet um, let's just say um, under contract something right again this is just kind of off the cuff just playing um, and let's just say That doesn't really look that good. It's supposed to say gone in seven days, but that font looks a little weird. So again, you can kind of come in here and um, play with the different banners that are in here. Make sure it looks good for what you're doing. The templates, generally speaking, look really good. That's the reason why they are the templates. Um, however, if you just wanted to come in and start creating something that was a blank document, you could always do that as well. So some cool things underneath text as far as the banners go. I'm going to get back to what we had. There we go. Um, you can also come into icons. So if you click on stock, these are basically just think of them kind of like uh, clip art, if you will, just a few different um, icons available in here that you could add in and uh, utilize. Logos, you do have company logos available in here. So you can actually see the labs logos are in here. And then there are some KW logos as well. Just remember if you're creating a marketing piece, um, you do want to make sure that you have your, your Keller Williams Market Center DBA logo included as well. Um, and then finally, images. We've seen this before, but Keller Williams stock images are available. So if you ever wanted to add those or change out what the uh, image was that was being utilized, you could just click on user's background. Actually, that's not working either. Um, this template, for some reason, has this one actually saved, kind of stuck on here, if you will. So I think we can delete it out, and then it should be. There's the other one. So that's the other image. If we wanted to change that, we could go in, you know, whoops. Anytime you are on the image, if you click on use as background, it'll change what that background image looks like. So you can kind of go through there and say, okay, that's the image I want to go with. That one doesn't look as good. You know, here's one that's framed out, looks pretty good for that setup. So um, also over here across the top, another toolbar that we haven't played with a lot, and yet you can click on drawing. You can add these different things in here. You can actually add a line. So maybe we wanted to put in, let's say, shape or drawing line, and we wanted it here. And let's move it. Well, let's undo that one and move that one over here. Maybe we like that look right there. And we want to move it over. And so there we go. So just kind of an example of what you can do with the different shapes and sizes kind of stuff as you're playing around. Um, that was drawing. You can get into shapes. Say I wanted to put a little circle over here, right, for some reason. And you could maybe drop your logo in there. So I could come over to, let's see, images. I think I have those saved in my library. Maybe it's logos in my library. There we go. So I could drop mine. Now, I don't have this as a PNG, so that's my fault. I should have a logo saved as PNG, so that's transparent, so that it would easily drop into that um, circle. So something I need to do and work on myself is get my own logo in a PNG so that it's transparent. 
Um, so we'll get rid of that guy. You could come in here to frames, and these are different image placeholders that you could then drop a photo into. So you can kind of come through here and see there's some different ones kind of already built out for you. And then finally, text. Um, if you wanted to drop in some additional text, you could do that by clicking on that text icon and then coming through and changing it that way. So again, guys, tons of opportunities to come in and play within the WeBrand editor from Sketchhouse Designs um, and really just kind of play until your heart's content. You could also keep it very simple. Just use the template that they've already created for us, change very little information other than the KWDBA and maybe the street name and street number, and there you have a really professional template. If you are one of those people that's already into graphics and graphic design, I mean, you could spend hours creating the, the perfect piece within here. Um, I did have one question yesterday that came up um, in Connect, and then also I saw a post on Facebook as well. Just be careful when you're sharing here. If you're clicking on share and you wanna share it to a social media channel, it's actually not gonna share the graphic. It's gonna share the entire project as a whole. So it's definitely not the, uh, op the avenue we wanna take if we are looking to post this graphic. We're actually gonna have to download it to our hard drive or um, in the case of Instagram yesterday, I would download this to maybe Google Drive or Dropbox, something that I could then access from my phone. So when I'm in Instagram, I can pull up photos from my phone that are saved on my hard drive or excuse me, saved in my Dropbox account or saved in my Google Drive account. Both of those programs do have mobile apps. So that way I could access them you know, from my phone and then save that image to my phone and then pull it up from Instagram. So that's basically the way I would do it if I was usual, utilizing the desktop version and then wanted to pull it up from my mobile phone later on. Hopefully that explains that and answers that question for those that were asking yesterday. And uh, as always, tomorrow we're gonna move on to some new subjects. We may have some time later on in the challenge to get back into Sketch House and look at some of the um, print options that are available and email down the road. Um, and yet for now, this kind of wraps up the three-day series on Sketch House. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow.